Hello, my name is Richard Fuller. I am a professor of medical education and a consultant stroke physician and geriatrician. I'm the deputy dean of the School of Medicine at the University of Liverpool in the United Kingdom. And it is both a pleasure and a privilege to join you as part of the Joint Educa Amy Symposium in relation to uh, medical education. My focus is going to be on one of the cornerstones of healthcare assessment, the OSCE, and I am going to uh, challenge us a little bit to think about the OSCE much more critically and to ask whether it still meets our needs in terms of good quality authentic assessment um, in 21st century now clinical practice. So what I'm going to do is to look back, to look at what we know about the OSCE but look in much more detail about some of our practices and ask ourselves do we practice what we preach? How evidence-based are some of our approaches? I'm going to look at what we do presently and think about approaches to authenticity both in terms of assessment and its alignment with clinical practice. And finally I'm going to future gaze with you a little bit to paint a picture about a different form of the OSCE, a different approach to performance assessment, one that's much more immersive, much more engaging, much more informed by where technology is taking us. And as we move through the uh, presentation today, a little bit of fun with what might feel like science fiction, but increasingly I hope you will join me in agreeing uh, scientific, scientific fact. So let's start by looking back. Let's look at the OSCE over the last 45 years. And here's the first confession. Myself and the OSCE of a similar generation. So I think you can make your own decision about who's aged much more gracefully and much more successfully. And uh, for those of you who aren't quite sure, the answer's the OSCE. So what have we learned? Well, this is where we started. The viva voce, the spoken word assessment that many of us will have experience of. 